During the pre-configuration of sliding doors, a variety of parameters are involved. First of all, I create the basic dimensions with 1,800 mm width and a depth of 600, as well as a segment height of 12. We remove the segment with 140 mm simply, and now we double-click on the cabinet or select Configure Cabinet. In the pre-configuration at the top right we click on the image, and now we can select that for the lower segment, these sliding doors will be created. We set the number of sliding doors to 4, with a thickness of 19 mm, and an overlap of the sliding doors will be 5 mm, and we will leave a gap between the sliding doors of simply 7 mm. For the setback to the front edge, we can simply make it 2 mm. The distance between the center panel and the front defines the back edge, and we can make it 10 mm. The intermediate shelves also have a distance of 10 mm. The fronts can be designed to run continuously at the bottom. As the handle symbol, we can choose to use no symbol, and I confirm with OK. Now let's take a look at these protrusions here. Now we can clearly see that the front is designed to run continuously at the bottom, and in the top view, we can now simply take a look at these overhangs here. And we have a distance of 10 mm from the center page to the front. Here we have an overlap of 5 mm. Furthermore, a gap of 7 mm. All these parameters are entered in the front tab, or we can of course change the distance of the sliding doors later on. And here we have the overlap, the distance from the front, and the other settings, which ultimately determine how the sliding door is designed. I confirm with OK. We can select a handle here. There are various rod handles or handle strips. For example, here we have the option to assign a 40 by 750 handle, confirm with OK, and then we have the corresponding handle, and here it must be noted that the handle is rotated 90 degrees. We can do that again in the front tab. And here we have the rotation, and depending on how the handles react, they must be rotated accordingly here. In the elements library, we can see here as well, which handles are available.
All these handles are offered in a grid of 25 centimeters, so we can assign longer handles here too. We can do that by double-clicking on the cabinet and then simply enter the length as 1250, for example, and immediately the corresponding handles will be assigned here. We can assign the length using, for example, 1250, and the corresponding handles will be loaded, such as 40 or 20 by 1250, which I can assign here. I confirm with OK and now select the corresponding handle. First and foremost, it is important to note that you also transfer the handle here. That is often forgotten to assign this handle here with OK. You can always change imported handles here too, for example, handle 1100. To do that, I can duplicate the handle here and enter the corresponding name, and then edit the handle in the 3D representation, and set the length to 1100, then I can exit and assign the new symbol here. Distances can be adjusted, as usual, in the handle details, in the vertical distance, 